gas from Myanmar. We use our own gas for something else, more value adding, because the gas in Thailand is very wet. What does that mean? It means that it is rich with methane uh, and many other petrochemical raw materials. And so we have constructed the downstream developer of natural gas to add more value added. And the end products of the natural gas industry in Thailand is commonly known as plastics. Propane, methane, and uh, many other C1, C1, C2, C3, C4, we are rich of those because our gas are very rich with those ingredients for petrochemical industries. And so we are using our own gas for that cause. And we're using the dry gas imported from Myanmar for power generation. One aspect that I would like to say that is very beneficial investment in Thailand, and that is in the hospitality sector. Hotel, hospital, tourist, restaurants have been the best foreign exchange earning power of our economy. Even though Thailand is number one in the world in rice export, we are number one in the world in pineapple export, in shrimp, in rubber. The number one foreign exchange earning power is not from those, it's from tourism. As a former Minister of Tourism, which I was for many years, I can tell you that tourism industry of Thailand, the strongest and still expanding. So hotel business, hospital, and I was Minister of Health for four years, and that was the time when the Thai government, under my recommendation during that time, we started what we call health tourism. And right now, I'm very proud to say that the most modern hospitals of Thailand have become the stars performers in that sector. The four top private sectors of Thailand has become very known around the world. Bamrung Rat Hospital, Bangkok Hospital, Samitiwet Hospital, Payatai Hospital are the four names in the medical and hospital businesses that are world, world really recognized. And if you walk into the lobby of Bamrung Rat Hospital, which is across the street from this hotel, you walk into the lobby of that hotel, of that hospital, you can never say that that hospital is in Thailand because they are full with foreigners top-end spenders from around the world come to Thailand for their medical services. I walked up to one of them the other day without identifying myself, and I said, Sir, why do you come to Thailand for medical services? Why? Why Thailand? And he said, he's from the United States, from California, very rich businessman. He said, I come to Thailand because for the same amount of money I spent in the United States, I can spend the same amount of money here in Thailand for the same medical services plus 10 more days of hotels and another week in Phuket. <laughs> Why not? That was the answer. And not, not to mention that, for your information, the top 10 doctors in the United States, half of them are Thai citizens. Half of them hold Thai passports. Keep that in mind. In case you go back to your country, my friends, if you wish to come to Thailand for further medical checkup, annual checkup, and whatever, please give us some opportunity to serve you in that category. Last year, I was able to entertain a visit of 30 ladies. Could you imagine that 30 Indian ladies and they call themselves Lady Fikis. Have you ever heard of that? Lady yeah. Fikis. Lady Fikis. Parvati Reddy. Yeah, Parvati Reddy from Hyderabad. Hyderabad. She came here with 30 friends, all ladies, trying to find some business opportunities between Thailand and India. And I think she was invited to visit 
company which is here with us this evening, the OCC public company, which uh, we have the uh, managing director here. And this group is the largest manufacturing and trading group in Thailand. And uh, that figure ladies group them spend several days with this group of companies, but still not enough because you have 185 companies under your umbrella. And the figure ladies were here for only one week. But anyway, you will have opportunity to talk about these cosmetics because they are the largest cosmetic manufacturer in Thailand. 